my name is Holly Breeden. I'm currently an operations manager at Atrium Health Union. I have been with Atrium Health, formerly Carolina's healthcare system, for 23 years. I've been asked to talk about my career journey, so I'm going to try to do that and answer any questions that you may have as a um, young person deciding to pursue a career and look at your life goals. I went to Fairmont State College in Fairmont, West Virginia and graduated in 1996. My bachelor's degree is in health science with a minor in psychology. I didn't start out in a health science field. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to pursue, which is okay because sometimes you don't know and you don't know until you get into some of the classes that you start to take or you start to have life experiences. But one thing I did know is that I wanted to be in the healthcare field or around the healthcare industry. I have a mom who's a nurse of 39 years at the same facility and I was always comfortable around the healthcare setting. So I decided to pursue a, a degree in health sciences, which is sort of a broad degree, but it would give me a great background to enter into the hospital world or the long-term care world, wherever that might lead me. Luckily, I moved to Charlotte in 1997 and um, was quickly told about Carolina's healthcare system, now Atrium Health. It was one of the largest employers in Mecklenburg County and surrounding counties. Um, the great thing about Carolina's healthcare system at the time is that it did, um, or its footprint was widespread, and I knew that um, there will be a lot of opportunities for growth. Healthcare is not going anywhere. We're always going to need folks to take care of us. So I decided that was going to be stable and um, I would try it. So I applied online and was called for a temporary position um, down in Charlotte, the big city. And um, after two weeks of temporary employment, I was offered a full-time position. That full-time position started in March of 1997 and it was in human resources. I decided that just after a few months in the position that human resources was gonna be my niche. I knew that it was working around people and it was hiring people who were going to um, be the healthcare providers of the future and take care of us. And um, so many niches in uh, human resources and I really was good around people. So um, it just worked for me. After about six months in the position that I was hired for, they opened a satellite office in the university area, which is where we lived. And it opened up an opportunity for me to try something a little different in human resources, so I did. Um, in that office at university, I spent over 10 years. I started out as the secretary, went into more of an associate role, went into a recruiter slash HR generalist role, and then, um, quickly went into a position as the director. So I stayed in that position in that area for about 10 years and um, then headed down to Union County and was able to support the team here at Union in a human resources role as well. A few years ago, we went through a um, transition and um, our positions were retitled in human resources and I had made a decision that that's maybe not where I wanted to spend the end of my career. Um, hospital operations was something that I was comfortable with and that had learned a lot about over my time here at Union and um, wanted to give it a try. So luckily a position was opening up and I applied and took full advantage of the experiences that I had here at Union and transitioned into that role. I now have um, responsibility for two patient-facing departments. Um, one is transport and one is our patient safety attendants. So I really get to, um, through those teammates, make an impact on the patients here at um, Atrium Health Union. There have been a lot of ups and downs. An example of some downs is the transition of human resources, a, a career that I knew I had done very well for over 18, 19 years. And um, the up was that um, I was offered a position that I could grow with in the operations role and been doing that for over a year and I'm really enjoying it. But you're going to face a lot of ups and downs in your career. There's going to be things that you have to take risks, you have to ask questions, you have to fail because failure it only leads to success, but you have to give it a try and you have to go with your heart and you have to go with your gut. A message that I would give to any high school senior or anyone coming out of school 
is, um, like I said earlier, take a risk. Um, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. You don't have to know what you're going to do when you enter into college your very first year. Just give it a try. Take classes that um, are of some interest to you. Um, take a part-time job. Take another part-time job. You're just going to have to feel your way. And you're going to have to do what makes you happy and what you feel in your heart um, will fulfill you for your long-term goals. But always give 100%. Always be kind. Always be honest. Um, a good work ethic and a good personality and a driven personality will get you anywhere always. So I um, want to wish you all good luck and um, always available if anyone has any questions or wants to um, run, in, run any ideas by me. I'm happy to help. Thanks. Bye.